welcome to a brand new episode of Fast Foods Fast. And in this season, we are looking at the sticky issues about being a vegan. We are looking at issues concerning vitamin B12, probiotics, proteins, enough iron, vitamins, nutrients, everything. everything. Is it possible to be a vegan and be healthy? I will be your host, Lois Otiende. This is my co-host, Tabitha Ochien. My pleasure to be here. And we have an awesome guest for this season. Melanie Osure. And we are glad that you are back with us. Yes. If this is your first time, feel free and enjoy this episode. Today we are looking at protein in particular. Yeah. But we have had a previous episode on protein mm -hmm. and you can always just go back and preview those episodes if mm -hmm. you can get them online. Feel mm -hmm. free to do that. Mm -hmm. There's a second episode that we are doing about this as well. Mm -hmm. So about protein, some people, as we said previously, yeah. feel that they don't get enough protein, protein. on a vegan diet. Yeah. And they ask themselves, but I, is it, <laughs> you're getting enough protein? <laughs> <laughs> or are you getting too much protein? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> enough but is the word. Yes. Yes. So, so we get worried about that. But anyway, uh, there's lots of protein to enjoy. So much. Mm. Yes. So mm. much. Yes. So yes. much like. So much um, like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love peanut butter. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to talk about peanut butter. I think in our first protein yes. uh, episode, mm. yeah. we had peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, we made ogira. Please look it up. I a loved lot it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Ah, a lot. Jugu, peanut right. sauce, peanut, peanut soup. gravy, mm -hmm. peanut mm -hmm. soup. Yes, <laughs> peanut. We, we had it, it was so wonderful. Exactly. Uh, how to make it? So, peanuts, we have nuts and seeds, and um, we also what, what else do we make in the uh, fast protein challenge apart from we the, did the potatoes? We're going to do it the review later, okay, mm -hmm. because we actually have a lot to do today, right. okay. okay, okay. Now, in this particular episode, mm -hmm. we are looking at uh something very interesting if you are a kenyan you've probably interacted with this thing mm -hmm. that's ugali okay yes. mm -hmm. so we are making ugali or how would we call it maize meal or corn meal so if a cow is eating it you said we call it corn, corn meal <laughs> but if we are eating it's it we call maize it maize meal. Maize meal. Maize meal. but what is interesting wow. our maize meal is not just maize yes. meal but we're going to put a little bit of oat yes. flour into yes. it Yes. And it makes it a bit sweet. It uh -huh. sort of has a sugary taste. And even so we are doing meal? one part maize meal and uh, one part oat flour. Oat flour. Oat exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the ugali that mm -hmm. we are making today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And feel free to try this out. You'll actually enjoy this better than just plain corn mm -hmm. or maize, maize. meal. <laughs> so because that actually stays... Uh, okay. ...long. Mm -hmm. yep. We want to get started so with that. So we need to get the water boiling. Okay. Which uh, pot? I think we'll this one? This. I know you wanted to put this one. No. Because I know you and Lugali. No. I know you Not and Lugali. Not that one. Yeah. We'll have Just this. be temperate with it. <laughs> mm. So how much water goes in? Did there any proportions with Lugali? Let me just use your eye. <laughs> Let's just be Kenyans. We know what, we just, how we do this we, thing. We just use our eye. You we let me know when it. it's time to stop. Mm. So about six cups there about. Mm. Okay. For how many okay, people? So that's... Um, that's I good. think you would do that's half good. a cup. <laughs> I would do good. two cups <laughs> and I would do one cup live. <laughs> 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 you see, no wonder it, this is my size. Okay. <laughs> but you um, remember you said protein challenge? Yes. Okay. So, so as the water is boiling, mm -hmm. I just want to remove a little bit of the stock. We are doing that ugali. What else are we doing? Mboga kienyeji. Mboga kienyeji. Mm -hmm. And you know the question that quickly comes to someone's mind is what we're is talking kienyeji? boga, we're talking boga kienyeji in Just a call protein it. challenge. Let me, let me let me let me give you the English word. Yes. Indigenous. Okay. True or false? Indigenous. True. Mm -hmm. But I'm still asking <laughs> this question. Uh, we are talking someone, boga. How would someone in the UK understand what we're oh, talking Oh yes, we about. have viewers from the UK. <laughs> Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Okay. For UK viewers, it's indigenous uh, vegetables. 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 Yeah. Right. So, so when you yes. when, when you when you visit our Kenyan supermarkets and then you see these strange vegetables like these ones, mm. this we call it osuga. Mm -hmm. What is the English name? Oh my! I don't okay, just know. call it the way it's we call osuga. it. Just call it the mm, way we call it. It's osuga. You will not get lost. 
then At we are going to... At least I know to... what this is called in English. It's cowpea leaves. Yes. Cow yes. Cowpea yes. leaves. Uh -huh. uh, what do we call it? The local dialect? Kunde. Kunde. That's mm. Swahili. Yes. Mm. Yes. Come and closer home. Bo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so we call I it I was bo. waiting for that. <laughs> yes. We call it bo. 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 Mm. You can call it kunde. <laughs> kunde. But if you want to feel more English-like, call mm. it cowpea leaves. Cowpea but the leaves. likelihood that you will get someone to understand... Uh, it's highly unlikely. Yeah. Highly so unlikely. So just, uh, just pick in that vocabulary as a new word. Yeah. Okay. Kunde. Or kunde. Yeah. You'll be okay. Mm. Mm. So feel free to visit our local markets and uh, just pick some of these vegetables that we have here. Yeah. So we also have this pumpkin leaves. Uh -huh. But here we call it sosa. Mm -hmm. Sosa. Sosa. Yeah. Just that. So you will not get lost mm. if you <laughs> ask someone for sosa. Sosa. Uh -huh. Okay. Our, our water is ready. Mm -hmm. So, um, no, you're no, just, just excited just about, about the ugali. You're just, just excited. About. Just about ready. Yes. It has to boil have, up. Yeah. If you do ugali before the water boils, oh, guys. It simply does not cook. Mm. <laughs> Don't. Please let it boil. I have had yeah. two. It has been horrendous. And we had oh. guests. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, and what was your issue? Yeah. I didn't the let the water did. boil. So you know? Before it, it was just starting to boil, but I was like, oh, and then you got boiling. excited. Then I got excited. I put in and started doing it. <laughs> this thing was not cooking, yes. and they were waiting. Yes. No, mom had to come and mm. start all over again. It's oh, hard to really okay. rescue Ugali. Yeah, once, once, you, start you, once wrong. you mess it up that yeah. way. So, mm -hmm. so basically, this is like our boil. cake without yeast. <laughs> <laughs> it's our corn meal okay, cake. I'll mix the yeah. flowers. By the way, don't call it Ugali again. I think we'll get these people confused. Okay, so we do, we say. A yeast free corn meal cake. Nice. Yeah. Nice. 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 So this is the oat flour. Yeah, this is the oat flour. Uh -huh. It's boiling now. So yeah, it has no, boiled, no, 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 but no, I want no, to no, mix. No, no, no. Uh, want to mix. Let's just this. a minute. Just mix it there yes, first. That's okay. what I'm doing. You're getting excited with this one again like you if did you, for if your you do, What happens <laughs> if, you, if you mix them inside? What will happen? It won't mix well inside oh, the water. Okay. So uh, just okay. uh, the excitement you had while you had your guests. I am going to reduce that excitement yeah. a notch <laughs> lower. <Very quest. laughs> I've just never had mm -hmm. oats in Ugali, so this yeah, is. Yeah, so this is oh, quite something. Oh, you will it's love quite, it. You will love it. Something. Yes. Mmm. Just wow. mix it, mix mm. it, mix it, mix it well, yeah. mix it well, mix it well. <laughs> it's well now. No, not yet. It not is yet. well <laughs> with my soul. <laughs> with okay, my if soul. you're not singers, <laughs> let us just stop it. Even my grandmother used to sing in the kitchen, but she was never in any choir. Oh, okay. I'm no, I'm not saying I mean, in a choir. I'm not enjoy. talking about a choir. Mm -hmm. But they sing My in ears the are hurting. No, okay, try that we again. were not that bad, guys. Yes. Were we that bad? Try that again. It Excuse is me. well. <laughs> it is well. That was so beautiful. No, Kitchen it music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that water is ready okay. now. Okay, Sam. That water is ready. Let's put that in. Huh. Slowly. So Slow. for for our international viewers, <laughs> what we're about to do is called dual. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> There's absolutely no <laughs> English word for the wallow. <laughs> Not existing. Actually, there's nothing. No there's no, there's there's no, no equivalent. We can't help it. Mm. And by the way, when you're doing this, you don't even need to go to the gym. You don't. <laughs> and have you ever done this for like, for like 10, 20 people? <laughs> yes, it's a job. This is just a gym. <laughs> it's a gym is exercise. <laughs> this is exercise for us. Yes. Yeah. So let us show them how we do the dwalo. Yeah, do let the, the water boil again. The dwalo. Mm, yes. The water will come to boil once again. Oh, yeah, you wait for and it to uh, boil over. Yeah, again. to boil over. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm trying to be sure that I can handle no, this. No, you know, <laughs> you know, an African woman doesn't get burnt. Yeah, you have wooden <laughs> hands. Know. So they say. That's a you dream. have wooden yeah. hands. It's so you just um, hold we, that. Yes. We do not have wooden hands. <laughs> <laughs> this is flesh. <laughs> it's flesh. But no, this is fine. Yeah. It's fine? Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. I don't have to use something else. Mm. Um, All right, so we're getting uh, there. 
Uh, we are really getting there. Mm. Mm. No, when you look at it, it doesn't mean you just look aside and when you come back, you find it has boiled <laughs> over. It happens with milk also. <laughs> when you're waiting for something to boil, yeah, it, it just looks like doesn't. it takes forever. It takes forever. Yeah. 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 Mm. But we need to be very careful with this. Mm. We don't want to mess it. No. Yeah. You will not no. miss this in just about anyone's house right it's, it's the staple food mm. the staple foods that mm. we have this side of mm. the country mm. no actually in this country in this country mm. maize meal is just a good they, yeah. they we do it differently some parts of the country they like it soft mm -hmm. some parts they like it a bit real firm firm mm -hmm. uh, so depending on your liking you mm. know, do you yes okay mm. so there goes what, what did you call it? Wow. You have to do ah, it But first, first we are starring. Mm -hmm. At least this still has an English the equivalent. Star. Yeah? Okay, okay. Yeah. But as, first it gets, we are. <laughs> you, as it gets tougher, you can Yes, mm. as it gets tougher, so you then now. Dual, you have to dualo. Mm. Dualo. So I need to add more? Yes, you need to add more flour into this. So yes. you don't want a porridge like texture for it? Yeah. No, we want Is it, it texture or feel or. Okay. Whoa, yeah. mm -hmm. that is dangerous. What really? is? I mean, putting all of it, what if it's like too firm? No. Uh, they are more <laughs> I, I understand why your, your mom had to come in that time. But yeah. I'm good now. Yeah. That now was you're ages good, huh? ago. Now yeah. I can mm. cook ugali very well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So, mm. yeah. The reason hmm. why we added oat flour. It's um, just to make it sweet. Make it sweet. And make it to make sweet, it plus all the other benefits of yeah, oats, of you oats. know. Oats are very high Whole in protein. Grain. Oh, there we go. Yes. yes. So you can have an unprotenated ugali. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oats are very high in protein, protein by the way. Yeah. Yes. So, and, and if you're looking for weight gain, it's mm -hmm. one of the, uh, the whole grains that mm. it's advised for someone oh. to incorporate in their diet. Are you mm -hmm. talking to me? Yes. <laughs> She's talking to me. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and so while she does that, mm -hmm. You know, she's kind of answered a question that she did not want to answer in uh -huh. the beginning. Uh -huh. I was asking uh -huh. why this is a protein challenge and all we see around are vegetables. Uh -huh. ah. And now this ugali. Now, yes. this spinach. Right. What do you think about it? What do I it think has about protein, spinach? by the way. Spinach does have protein. It does? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Just the spinach or the others too? No, uh, okay, just about all, and especially this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that. And spinach. Yeah. And of course, the cowpea leaves. Mm. Yes. You know, any, any, any vegetable that you get out of a legume, uh -huh. the, the nutrient content is just, is not very different from. I see. Yeah. So, you'd find some people who have issues with the cowpeas themselves, uh -huh. but then, yeah, she's doing that very well. She's doing that very well. She is, well. Yes. yes. You notice I'm not talking. Yes. <laughs> All my concentration now is here. <laughs> so, if you want protein mm -hmm. in your vegetables, mm -hmm. eat more of the vegetables that have grown from legumes. Legumes. Oh. Oh. legumes. Yeah. So, Perfect. when you plant beans, mm -hmm. get your bean leaves. When mm -hmm. you planted cowpeas, get your the leaves. leaves. That's yeah. protein for you right That's there. That's protein. Just the way you would get it directly from the beans, mm -hmm. you can eat the leaves as well. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a reason why we usually combine ugali and veggies. Ugali it is and just, we like starch, it that way. Starch, starch and protein. But there's another reason mm -hmm. which I found very fascinating. Yeah. You know, protein, um, they also use insulin in their metabolism. They use insulin for metabolism. So when you have just protein, the people who just eat protein mm. only in one <laughs> meal, yes. you're going to have an insulin spike. Yeah. Yeah. Now what that mm. is going to do, you know, insulin is also the one that uh, metabolizes carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. And for people who are diabetics, that is a sensitive issue for them. Mm -hmm. So if you have a continuous insulin spike, you're always eating a machoma or eating a lot of protein over mm. time, you get insulin sensitivity. What that means is that the receptors for insulin, they're like, no, there's too much insulin in the blood. Mm. No, we don't want it to get. Yeah. So um, you, if you're a diabetic or if you continue to eat protein too, too long over time, you can develop diabetes in that, that way. That was a serious talk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
yes wow. and we so should like a lecture there's mm. such a, a, a connection between protein too much protein in your diet and diabetes mm. and it has to all to do with insulin so oh. you 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 regulate that then you can be able to control sugars as yes well. so when you're eating one protein, of the reasons why you notice some doctors who understand how to manage diabetic patients mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they will actually advise them to go on a vegan diet Ooh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ooh. and there are testimonies of diabetes that has been reversed yep just by going on a very vegan many, diet very yes. many yeah very many mm. yeah yeah so i think you will just continue doing that i will I will you, ha you haven't started sweating yet? No, no. I won't sweat. I won't sweat. This is Kidogo. It's so easy. She's like, ooh. ooh. Okay. This is Kidogo. You will need a, a pot bigger than this. Yeah. Yeah, that would make me sweat. Okay. I know after the break, as soon as we come back, it will be most likely ready. You're taking us on break so fast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry. She only stated that after the break it will be ready. Yes. I think she's she did not take any She just said she wants to taste the ugali <laughs> during the break. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you for Anyway, at this yes. particular point, we are going to be taking a, a break. short break. Yes. And we'll be right back with after ugali ready. This. <laughs> The smile on my face as I watched her walk down the aisle. I knew this was the beginning of my happy ever after. We would play like little children who have endless energy. He made me laugh <laughs> every single day. Oh, what bliss. He suddenly had too many complaints. He just started doing everything wrong. I couldn't stand him. It was too much. When issues start trickling in your family, who do you turn to? What do you do? Watch this brand new season of Family Times. Join the different families on set as they share their experiences of how God has kept them together through it all. Every Sunday from 7 to 8 p.m. on Hope Channel Kenya. Welcome back. We are still on with our ugali or cornmeal oatmeal yeast free, yeast -free cake. cake. <laughs> okay. And by the way, you can season this thing with w whatever you want to do with season it. Season ugali. You could boil honey in the water. Yes. Aye. Aye. Nice. Mm -hmm. nice. And then you could put a bit of butter into it and yeah. then. <sighs> then give exotic. Yes. If you have children who have issues eating it, just do something with it. Wow. Yeah. Do something with it. Don't be okay. restricted. So I think we're done. Yeah. So what we uh. do with it, don't take us slowly. <laughs> okay. So she, what she was doing, she was just shaping it so that it looks like cake. <laughs> so uh, in this, uh, sometimes we, we, uh, we don't have the... Uh, what are those things called? What? The cake tins. So mm -hmm. ours is just this sufuria, this pot. Mm -hmm. So we just shape it there. Yeah. And for us, this is just cake, by the way, <laughs> which we, we pinch out as we eat. So You're she has done the, now, huh? yeah, she's done the shaping. Mm -hmm. This it's needs nice. tucked yes. right so here. So this is how you serve you it. You need to mm -hmm. flip it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you just turn it out. If you could oh, just oh, give oh, me a oh, little space. Oh, oh. There Careful. we go. Careful. Nice. Done. So look at how our yeast-free cornmeal cake looks <laughs> very nice. Perfect. So we're going to put this pot back on. Yes. Because yes, we're nice. going to use and it. this one Let it will cool. cover it. Okay, yeah. Let's, Let, yeah. let's just do it the way we do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. we just cover, cover it. it. Cover it like yeah. that. That'll keep mm. it warm until the vegetables are ready. Yes. yes. Okay. So we'll just put that there. 
and uh, let me begin with the onions by the way this okay. needs lots of onions if you want to enjoy it do lots of spring mm, of spring onions, onions. Well, what about the other bulb onions is that okay too this one tastes better. It's okay, but this tastes it better. It tastes better. Yes, much the better. taste, the taste ah. is stronger. And actually, uh, most of in most African settings, uh -huh. this is uh, very cheap and easy for them to get. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Because I it's know. usually in their kitchen yeah. gardens. gardens. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I know about the cheap part. This, uh -huh. The spring onions are actually cheaper. Yes, in the yeah. mm. much than cheaper the for ones. us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just use what you have, as we agreed that this vegan lifestyle. You don't have to spend yourself getting things that you don't locally uh, have. have yes. Yeah. So just use what you have. You can still. God has a way. He has balanced everything mm -hmm. so that everyone can be able to obey His mm -hmm. will. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's Without right. being strained. Right. Yeah. From our grandmothers at home who do not have sources of income mm -hmm. that are as much as mm -hmm. probably those of us who are in other places. Mm -hmm. Everyone, God has given the ability and the resources and enough. provision mm. so yes if you are willing mm -hmm. to obey god's word mm -hmm. and, That's right. and and willing to take his guidance yeah. mm. he will enable you to do exactly that right that's right and yes. you know i'm reminded and, of and just just before you uh -huh. what you are reminded yes mm -hmm. let me just get this out get it out mm -hmm. Lois. this vegan lifestyle has to be accompanied mm -hmm. by christ centered uh, focus in the gospel. Amen. Right. We don't just become vegans because we're excited about being healthy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. We need to be vegans because God has called us mm -hmm. into a healthy lifestyle mm -hmm. and we want to have a better relationship with him. Right. Especially right. on the relationship part. Yes. Mm -hmm. To a keep our frontal ke lobes yes, clear. It keeps your that's mind it. clear. And, that's and that's by the right. way, mm -hmm. uh, let, me, let, me, let, me, yeah. let me let me let me just get this out as well. Get mm. it out, Lois. You know, it's in the frontal lobe yeah. uh, that principles are impacted in the Very mind true. of a mm. human being. Mm -hmm. Very true. Okay? Mm -hmm. In the frontal lobe. lobe yeah. That's right. Okay. Mm. And if you look at where the mark of the beast will be, mm. we'll have the mark of the beast on our foreheads. Foreheads. Or exactly. Mm. So mm. the imprint on principle mm -hmm. will be through compromising. Mm. Mm. On mm. that aspect mm. of the human brain, mm. so the clearer you keep it, mm -hmm. the clearer that's it will be for you to grasp biblical concepts. Wow, that's deep. Amen. So more so in these last days, Amen. health reform becomes mm. Christ-centered, and then Amen. then we have these people yeah. who they begin the journey. And then they go back, mm -hmm. drawing back unto perdition. Mm -hmm. The book of Hebrews tells us that we are not mm. of them that draw back unto perdition, mm. Mm -hmm. but of them that continue unto the salvation of mm. our souls. And the reason why some people wow. do that is because they did not do it in the strength of exactly. Christ. The That's purpose, right. yes. mm. why they you're would, doing yes. it really mm. yeah. sails you through. Yes, so yeah. they would make statements like, me, the way I am, the way I have been brought up, we mm. are so disciplined. No, <laughs> it is Christ that enables us mm. to mm. sustain conversion mm. even on health principles. Oh, wow. That's deep. Yeah. That's really, really good. So if Christ doesn't that's enable deep. us, we will not sustain it. That's you deep. will you will stop today <laughs> after three months, you're back on it. And we <laughs> yeah, but you know, a that. more a practical aspect of it, mm -hmm. I I have observed this. Mm. Um, that you go to the village yeah. where they think they're poor, they mm. don't eat very well, mm -hmm. but they eat traditional is, mboga, yeah. they eat gedheri, yeah. they yeah. eat the natural food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at their skins mm -hmm. and you sometimes just get embarrassed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know they have such glowing skin? Look at the skin. children mm -hmm. who run around and eat in the Dutch. wild berries and they eat the all the wild things. Things. You know they are so much in touch with nature. Yes. Oh. They are so healthy. Why, why do you people and that's always where ensure? deception comes in uh -huh. before you get there. Yeah. Why, that's why where deception that gets... Does the onions? Oh, Because I chose. think your eyes need cleaning. <laughs> 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 uh, 
okay. Now, I, I was weeping. talking about the deception yeah. mm -hmm. because we think, oh, we are affluent, we are educated. So some things that we even wow. used to eat uh. in our past, mm -hmm. we put them aside. Yeah. And okay. now for breakfast, we just want bread and butter, yes. yeast bread. For, for, you know, we want to get into a life that is so Mercy. out of touch with nature yeah. so that uh, we actually buy that food mm -hmm. expensively mm -hmm. but also yes. compromise our health mm -hmm. a lot a lot a lot now, we Lois, do compromise. this sufferia has been burning for some time wow yes. so let's we are putting a bit of oil just a little bit that's okay yes that, that is a, uh, actually a little bit <laughs> it's a little bit yes <laughs> okay. and and um then you we know Lois, we generally say we shouldn't really heat our yes. oil yeah. but this is safe why it's cold pressed cold pressed exactly. that's important so with cold pressed oils you can afford to to do this with mm. other oils you risk mm. your health yes mm. so as she's doing that i'm going to be <laughs> chopping our vegetables remember what we have here we have spinach yeah. mm -hmm. we have osuga <laughs> we don't know, we don't know how it's one. called in English, <laughs> but we love it. Okay. We grew up eating it, we love it, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll just call it the way we call it. That's uh, fine. So we'll just have that. When you hear uh, the che sound, mm. then you know it's lunchtime. <laughs> it's, it's, it's oh funny. yes, it's time. <laughs> it's time. It's time. Now so I want us to take note that to. for this, mm. we are not going to be doing what you did. Mm. We don't need just, very very fine. Yeah. We just so chops. just exactly mm. big chunks, yes. big, big chunks. chunks chop it we'll up. Do. Mm. We just do big chunks. I think my dad is a. a, a uh, very good at that. My dad does big chunks. Whenever ah. you let my dad in the kitchen, ah. Ah. big chunks of veggies. And you know, for some reason, yes. Um, okay, like osuga, mm -hmm. there are people who'd rather just boil it straight without oh, uh, yeah. without chopping. Mm -hmm. And then they for chop for kunde later. and all that. They just boil it like that. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. believe me, if it is soft kunde, uh -huh. the taste will be different. You don't even need to cut it. Right? No. You don't cut. Ah, because I think too much mm. cutting also, you know, exposes the... Aha, uh -huh, those the, things. What yeah. are they called? The you nutrients know, let and me give you the name of that kunde. Mm. It's called nam toe. That soft one. Hey. Okay, so say you, that again. When you what? visit our country and you need soft kunde, just <laughs> look for the one that is called that. Like okay. we are from the same country and we don't even know that word. <laughs> so good luck with um, your nam. Thank God for having a villager next to you. <laughs> <laughs> thank okay. God for having uh, a villager right next to you. Aren't we ready with that? Now put the carrots. We'll have the, okay. In our high schools uh, yeah. here in Kenya, they are very, very known for big cut vegetables. I think they use a panga? Yes, yeah. they use panga. That's the cabbage I was telling you about. <laughs> the they literally use yes. panga. The size of the side plate. Wow. Mm. But yeah. I think they yeah, did as of course, good. if they have to do lots and lots of cabbage yeah. for four, five hundred people. And I think it's good what? because yeah. at least the nutrient stays within yeah. the nini. Okay. So, but you notice we how hit them. Hmm? boarding school children grow? How they I grow yeah. so much. Yeah. Yeah. It must be the yeah. beans. It's it must be the beans. It is the daily. beans. Daily. Daily mm. beans. Mm. They mm. eat so mm. And then you want that you, at your vegan diet, you don't grow big. No. How now? Mm -hmm. You check your high school students, mm. you see. That's right. So I guess I'm going to do slightly small because mm. it's not as soft. Not that soft. Oh, that's the pumpkin leaves. The yeah. pumpkin together with the cowpea leaves. Mm. The ball. Yeah. <laughs> you love that, right? I love the word. Oh. You remind me of the cow. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's what this. our children call cows. What? Yeah. Bo. 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 Yes. It's more. Yes. It's, it's more. No, it's more. I say more. M B. Ah. Okay. Really? It depends on where you grew up. <laughs> bo. Hey, yeah. So we they have say bo. bo. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to be patient yes. with you. Relax. You didn't use tomatoes, though. Is no. there a reason for that? Yes. Please. Mm. And a very good reason for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are cooking vegetables, mm -hmm. you don't want to have cooked tomatoes together with your vegetables. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The reason being, mm -hmm. it's like cooking an orange. Yeah. Mm. Cooking your vegetables That's in an orange. Tomato is a fruit. It's hey, a fruit. I want and it is acidic. acidic. 
Tomato is a wild fruit. fruit. You said it some time back. You and know, it's we, we were brought up with mm. tomato and, and onions. They for go frying. always for frying. Yes. I mean, it's, yeah. it's like part of us. So mm. yes. it's acidic and one, it's a fruit. You don't want to mm. boil your oranges, do you? Mm. Nice. Yes. <laughs> so now, so that makes sense. Okay. I think we would have the coriander okay. leaves. Yes. We'll just put it in. That's just just for flavor, and of yeah. course, we know it detoxifies the kidneys. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then we are going to put in our vegetables. Oh, uh -huh. uh, together, all, all of just it. all of all of it. All, all, of of it. It. all of it. So just mix them all. Then we'll put some salt, and then we cover to let it simmer. Mm. Yes, even that just a bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is our heat up? Yeah. Wow. Just mix it well. It's all green in mm. there. Yes, it's green. Of course, now it's still raw. <laughs> but yeah, it's important that we don't um, overdo it. We don't yes. cook it for we too long. We don't cook mm. it for yeah. too long. Okay. Wow. So, so I think what we need to put in, we forgot salt. salt. <laughs> Just a little bit of salt. A little yeah. bit. I'll do bit. a little bit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then, then of course we have our cashew butter. Feel cashew it, yes. butter cream. Yeah. Butter cream. It's like the whipping Potato, creams. Potatoes. It's like the whipping creams that they normally put. Mm. Mm. Uh, oh wow. Yep. Now, yes. Wow, this looks nice. Oh, you guys can choose. Sorry. It. Oops. Hmm. I'm spilling uh, it already. That was your share. Yeah. <laughs> What just went down uh, was, was my share. Okay, okay. Mm. But I'll, I'll measure it. Uh -huh. So once we've divided this equally, uh -huh. just remove that. <laughs> it looks okay, nice. Okay, now it looks really, mm. really good. Yeah. Green. Mm -hmm. and then Still the green. carrot is, is giving it a lot of color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And wow. Well, the and then of course the cream. Yes. Done it. You know, so so it, so that you don't feel so miserable. All yeah. you have to eat is mboga. Yeah. Yeah. That cream there has added to our protein. Yeah. So again, we are very rich right In here. Protein. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And you see, the good thing with this yeah. is, uh, you know, sometimes some people are so used to putting. Uh, cow milk cream in their oh, vegetables. Yes. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. So if you can get other healthier, cholesterol-free creams, yeah. right. yes, right. Uh, the ones that are not so high in fats, it is, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and the ones that are healthy to use, mm -hmm. and those that have good oils, yeah. mm -hmm. then you would probably want to make your own creams and butters, and then you could add them into your vegetables. Into how your do you vegetable. make that again? Just in case you don't know how to make yeah. that in case cashew. you Yes, mm -hmm. definitely you need a good blender. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I've is seen the my part. grandma though. Mm -hmm. how, how will you help her, by the way? If she needs to make this. Okay, so grandma, let me this tell is for you. you. How. Mm. Let me tell you how. Okay, go ahead. Let her pre-soak it uh -huh. and let her get a, a manual meal. Mm. Miller, sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. She uses also the the nuts that we have available readily mm. is the peanuts. Peanut, the peanuts, yes, yes. So after roasting them, sometimes yeah. she doesn't even roast them. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, she just does the pestle and mortar thing. Works well. Pestle and mortar, pestle mm. and mortar, pest, yeah. pestilence, yeah, yeah. pestilence. <laughs> yeah. Mortarize it, mortarize it mm -hmm. until it's ground, <laughs> and then <laughs> mortarize it, mortarize it. Most, mort she said mortarize it and, pe and pestilence. pestilence of all the things. Pestilize it. <laughs> yeah, pestilize that could be an alternative in mm. case you don't have cashew nuts or almonds or whatever. Yeah, you can use, use, use whatever, yeah. whatever we, we is said. available. Exactly. That's mm. what you use. Yeah, so uh, feel this free to try out like this. Done. Don't interrupt okay. when oh, I'm sorry, talking but I'm about. It's done. Okay. God. <laughs> I'm glad I'm on this side of the set. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, I was, I was just telling you. All okay. right, now here's the thing that is basically all that we had for you today. Oh. We had our cornmeal yeast free cake, Ugali. Yes. We taught you how to do it, yes. and then we also had our indigenous vegetables. Uh -huh. We mix them like that, that's yeah. how we enjoy them. Yeah. And they are full of proteins, full of vitamins, yeah. full of iron, folate, something, those nice things. Mm -hmm. They're all inside. Right. Yeah. So don't get stressed about getting things that you cannot find. Mm -hmm. yeah. So just 
eat what you can grow around you and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode. I was your host, Lois Otiende, my co-host. Tabitha Uchen. And our awesome smiley melon. <laughs> melon. From us it is until next time.